Hello. Uh, this message is for, um, excuse me, for the cabinet minister of uh, home affairs in Swazili, uh, Princess Lindy Wethamini. Lindy Wethamini, let me explain something to you. Uh, the problems in Swaziland uh, are really due to your brother, King Mswati the third. The problems in challenge in Swaziland are man-made by your brother, King Mswati the third. I went to school with you here in the United States, Lindy Wethamini, okay? I know you very well. You were very, very shy, a humble girl here. A child of my grandfather, King Sopuza the second. You were very humble very down to earth. You could not even maintain eye contact when you were here in the United States about maybe 20 years ago. Today, you are the cabinet minister in Swaziland, appointed by your brother. One of the most evil things that you did is to kidnap a dead Tanzanian woman from Manzini Clinic, okay? To get human body parts from her because you and your brother, King Amswati, you believe human body parts give you strength, power, invisibility, and wealth. Okay? I understand this is what you believe in. So you can hide behind the Bible, Lindy with Lamin. But at the end of the day, the truth comes up to the top and you'll be exposed. You are now married to this Zambian, this Zambian criminal from Zambia. Kasaru, who has opened up one of the biggest churches in Swaziland, a devil with horns. They are now looting the money out of Swaziland. Kasaru, this Zambian, along with Shakantu, these two criminal Zambians have married to you and your sister, married into your reality for convenience to get Swazi citizenship and, 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 and be in Swaziland. And they got closer to the royal family in Swaziland, to the king. And now using and manipulating this high school dropout, this idiot, your brother, King Mswati III. You understand, Lindy? So what I'm saying now, you've called a national day of prayer, whatever you know you've, you're doing in Swaziland. You are not fooling anybody. Monty Mandla Nkosi is telling you, we are not fooling anyone in Swaziland. You are a devil who horns, just like your brother, King Mswati the third. You cannot fool me. I know everything about you. I was with you here in school. I've known you. I've followed up. Even now that you're a cabinet member in Swaziland, some of the things you have done. You went and kidnapped a dead Tanzanian woman. In fact, I suspect you killed her. I suspect you killed her. Okay? I don't know how she died. They say she died of COVID. But I'm very suspicious. The children were looking for their dead bodies, the, 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 the mother's dead body. They couldn't find it. An investigative journalist, Zwili Martin Lamini, exposed you that you were involved in going into Manzini Clinic and kidnapping that dead body of a Tanzanian woman. Okay? That's why you would look ahead with the Tanzanian government in Swaziland. I don't know how it went away because I know... King Mswati bribes, bribes people, like he just bribed the, tried to bribe the Commonwealth uh, 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 Secretary, the, the Secretary of the Commonwealth, okay? You are really uh, crazy in Swaziland, what you're doing today. Your brother, King Mswati, is insane. He's even on crack cocaine. So you can play this Christianity thing all you want. At the end of the day, the truth comes to the top. Lindy, okay? So you can play all the games you want in the world. We want a new, just, fair, equitable nation in Swaziland. We want democracy, okay? So you can play all the delaying tactics you want. You cannot stop this revolution that is started in Swaziland. We continue to teach and educate the people of Swaziland here on Facebook and other social media platforms. And it's very effective, as you can see. Swazis are done with you. Done with the Swazi royalty, done with King Mswati the third, an idiot that continues to slaughter people, murder people. I, I don't even know how you got into this nonsense, Lindy. I really thought you were a really good, decent person when I was with you here in the United States, when you were studying here. But you are all evil, very, very evil people. How how did this happen? King Mswati the third.
corrupted all of you, right? Bong and Abuslang Sam. Slang Sam is dead and gone today. So, Lindy, I'm telling you, you are on the wrong trajectory, and sooner or later, uh, uh, the truth will rise up to the top. So, you can play all the delaying tactics, call for National Day of Prayer, and invite all these Christians, all these uh, 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 ministers, and all. It's bullshit. And you know it. Me and you know it. Okay, thank you.